Hey guys, so here we are with um, part two of our Louise Nevelson assemblage project. Uh, if you remember, we talked last time about all of the um, items that you could um, save. So what I want to do today is um, talk about what you're going to do with these. So let me take out a few items. We'll say this, um, this. This is already white, but I'm still going to paint it anyway, just because it's going to be a different white than um, our... Uh, this white will be a different white than our paint, so I want them to all be the same white. Or black. You could use black if you want. I happen to have some white paint, so I'm going to use white paint. Uh, I've got this gesso here, um, which you can use. This is more of an artist gesso, so a little fancier. Uh, I also have, and I've already opened the bucket, so I can't really show you the label. Um, it's just a primer. Um, that you can buy at any hardware store. Um, you probably already have this at your house. You can also use, I mean, if you've got, you know, these are different times. If you've got some rando, like I've got this um, paint that I have here that's kind of a dark brown color um, that you could also use. So I'm sure, I will bet you $15 that you probably have some house paint in your house that's all one color and your parents are willing to let you use it. So. What you want to do is, of course, you want to lay down your paper so you don't mess up anything. If you've actually got pieces of cardboard or something like that, um, that would be really good because you're going to paint them and then have to flip them. So this is kind of a process um, that happens. Um, what you want to do is just start painting. Um, I'm not going to paint the underside just because I'm going to lay it down on this paper and if my underside is wet with paint, it's going to stick and then I'll have to redo it anyway. So that's what I mean. Like you need to have a place um, to kind of lay all this out. If you have pets or some of you guys might have, um, you know, siblings who are little. I would definitely get like a piece of cardboard or a piece of wood that you can put this up on a shelf so that they're not going to mess with it while it dries. Um, I remember a kid one year had painted all of his stuff and then his little brother who was like two came in and ruined everything. So um, I'm just going to paint one side for right now and then I'll set that down and let it dry and then once it dries. Um, I will come back and paint the underside. And your pieces will probably take a couple of coats of paint, uh, especially like a piece like this. This was totally black. Like you can even still see, you know, the black showing through. So this guy might need a couple of coats. So I'm just going to lay him down and then I'll do my next one. And yeah, this box is already white, but whites are different, just kind of like black, like black can be a warm black, a cold black. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint it the same white so that everything looks the same. Um, I mean, it's not white on the sides, so I'm definitely gonna paint that. And this is paper um, or cardboard, this box. So it's definitely gonna dry a lot faster than that R that I just painted, which was, um, I think it's plastic, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna paint that. And so what you want to do is kind of spread out your items and give them a good coat. And then once you're done, um, we will hot glue this. Uh, so some of you may or may not have a hot glue gun. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you have two options. Um, one, you can order a hot glue gun. Um, I think they're like $3. Um, and of course some glue sticks. If you do not have that, then, oh. Sorry, move that out of the way. Um, if you do not, or you're not able to order that, that's totally fine. You can use, um, we've used duct tape in the past. Duct tape, uh, somebody had, I don't know, a bottle or something that we used one time with duct tape because hot glue just wouldn't hold it. So you can use duct tape, hot glue, all of that to kind of put everything together. Um, and again, my styrofoam is white, but, I want it to be the everything to be the same amount of white, not the same amount. Sorry, um, the same color of white because there are different whites. So I'm going to go ahead and paint that too. So what you want to do is start painting your objects, and you want to leave them out. Like I said, don't paint the underside because when you lay that down on the paper, it's going to stick. So I'll paint like the top half, and then I'll come back. Um, 
and check on them in a couple of hours and see if it's dry enough to flip over and paint the backside. Um, so yeah, there you go. Step two of our Louise Nevelson assemblage.